All right, guys. So the reason why we're going to watch this interview over again, the chief of police, is because I need you guys to listen to something very carefully. What we've been doing since the 21st of December, uh, just to give you a recap, as you all know, the 21st of December, we got a call to this location about 5.45 p.m. Call to this location about 5.45 p.m. Call to this location about 5.45 p.m. It was cold. It was cold. And it's really hard for people to keep secrets. People to keep secrets. Really, even if yeah. could, could you could you just um then possibly just um the only thing I, I really want to know too is do we know the time? Because I've been give, given such different you know very you know various information on what time this was. What time was the nine one one call placed to? What I have here is eighteen fifty four, which would be uh. That translates to 6.54 p.m. It's really hard for people to keep secrets. 21st of December, we got a call to this location about 5.45 p.m. We keep secrets. Do you think someone took them? Do you think they're lost? Do you think... Yeah, definitely. I definitely know they're not walking around. They definitely know they're not walking around. They're not that kind. They're, they, they do not just roam around. You know, these patches, they definitely... I think definitely would have been picked up or something. Picked up or something. Picked up or something. That's that was my assumption. Have they ever taken? My assumption. Have they ever taken? That was my assumption. Have they ever it's really hard for people to keep secrets. So I'm not going to turn that down, and I don't pass up big opportunities like that. And you would you be able to provide us the 911 call that they made initially? Uh, can I provide it? Uh. And you, would you be able to provide us the 911 call that they made initially? Uh, can I provide it? Yeah, the recording of it. I'm sure police have all the recordings of uh, I'd have to look into that right now with, with our investigators and see if they want to release that at this point. Uh, can I provide it? Yeah. And it's really hard for people to keep secrets. Okay, what was the address that the call was made from? Oh, um... It was 10717 Aspen Avenue. Let me just confirm the, um, that that is, I, I do believe that that is in fact the correct address. Um, yes, 10717 Aspen Avenue. And that is in um, California City. Um, okay. I was able to pull it up here. Um, let me take a look here on... Um I can give you the incident number. Do you have a piece of paper handy? Um, yes, let me let me grab it. Oh, you know, I'll just make a note right here on my phone. Um, sure, what what is the um, incident number? Okay, the incident number is 2020-00175453. Okay. And what can, and then, what can I do now, with that? Um, let's see, I'm trying to think if it applies to incidents, because right now this is showing just as, um, this, this 911 call is showing as an incident, 175453, but since there are juveniles involved, the only way that you can get the, um, the records are by a court order because anything involving juveniles is protected. Really, even if, yes. could, could you could you just um, then possibly just, um, the only thing I, I really wanna know too is, do we know the time? Because I've been give, given such different, you know, very, you know, various information on what time this was. What time was the 911 call placed to? What I have here is 1854, which would be, uh, that translates to, 6.54 p.m. Exactly. Um, at what time did you guys notice your kids went missing? And at what time were they reported missing to the police? It's about, I, I believe, I think it was about 4.30, going on 5. It was getting dark, like I said. 5-ish. Five 5-ish. Five That's about it. That's when everything played out. When everything played out. That's when everything played out. And then when did you guys call the police to report them missing? I After we searched? Yeah. A little bit around here, we it was dark, so we definitely were, we got word. Most definitely, you are 
lying. One, you never stepped out the house to search anywhere. Two, Trezell stepped out the house and he did the little search around here for exactly six minutes. He went around the block, then another block, and then like one big square, came back, parked in the driveway, and done. Then we have them stating that the boys came up missing between 4.30 and 5. Let's just say, okay, they came missing at 5. They came up missing at 5, right? It means he searched for six minutes. 5.06. We have the chief of police claiming and the West family claiming that they called the cops immediately after searching. Remember, it was cold outside and it was getting dark outside and uh, they were worried. Yeah. And then the chief of police on his very first interview, he states the call came in at 545. And we all know now that was a lie as well. Plus, another thing, I really want to know what's going through this chief's mind to sit there and act like he doesn't know what's going on in his little town. I myself find it highly strange that this $100,000 reward has been out now for quite a period of time, right? People halfway around the world, they all know that it's to $100,000. But yet the chief, he purposely sits there and says, oh, I thought it was 80000 still. Yeah. Chief, I want to tell you something, man. You yourself said in your interview that it's hard to keep secrets. I hope you let that keep replaying in your mind over and over and over and over and over. That little thing you just said, it's hard to keep secrets. <laughs> that goes for you as well, chief. It's hard to keep secrets, buddy. But that's all right. What's done in the dark will eventually come to the light very soon. AV Watchman, you're tuned in to United We Stand. Where are the boys? It is time for answers no more of these little shenanigans, these little games, these little, well, um, yeah, I got guys out there looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. I've been out there every single day. I ain't seen not one cop out there looking. Not when I'm looking, and I've been out there all day, all day. So, where are you looking at? Okay, yeah, you guys went out to Silver Saddle Ranch. Ooh, ooh. So? So what? It's time to start speaking up, Chief. It's hard to keep secrets, Chief. Don't forget that. A.V. Watchman with United We Stand, signing out.